Welcome back to our journey through the Industrial Revolution, a time of groundbreaking innovations that reshaped the world. In our last episode, we delved into the story of the spinning jenny, invented by James Hargreaves, a machine that revolutionized the textile industry by dramatically increasing the speed of cotton spinning. The spinning jenny was a leap forward, but it was just the beginning of a series of innovations that would transform cotton manufacturing. Today, we turn the pages of history to 1769, to a breakthrough that not only advanced textile production but also set the stage for the rise of factories, the water frame, invented by Richard Arkwright. Imagine a time when the power of water was harnessed not just to turn mills but to spin cotton. Richard Arkwright, an entrepreneur and inventor, saw the limitations of relying solely on human or animal power. His solution? A machine powered by water that could spin cotton much faster and more efficiently than ever before. Arkwright's water frame was a marvel of its time, a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of progress. It wasn't just a machine, it was the herald of a new era, paving the way for the industrial factory system that would dominate the landscape of production. In this episode, we'll explore how Arkwright's invention transformed the textile industry, the challenges he faced, and the impact of water-powered machinery on society and the environment. Join us as we uncover the story of the water frame, a key player in the tapestry of the Industrial Revolution. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into the inventions that changed our world. This is the story of the water frame, a leap in industrial technology that forever altered the course of history. In the landscape of industrial revolutionaries, few figures are as seminal as Richard Arkwright. Born on December 23, 1732, in Preston, Lancashire, England, Arkwright emerged from humble origins. He was the youngest of 13 children in a family led by Thomas Arkwright, a tailor, and his wife, Ellen Hodgkinson. This modest background, far from the burgeoning centers of commerce and invention, was the crucible in which Arkwright's early character was formed. Arkwright's childhood unfolded in a world where the luxuries of extensive education and leisure were reserved for the affluent. His formal schooling was minimal, reflecting the broader reality of 18th century England, where opportunities for learning were often scarce for those outside the upper classes. Despite these limitations, young Arkwright displayed a curiosity and intelligence that hinted at his later accomplishments. As a youth, Arkwright apprenticed in the trade of barbering and wig-making. This profession, though seemingly unconnected to the industrial feats he would later achieve, provided him with invaluable lessons in precision and craftsmanship. It was in these early professional endeavors that Arkwright's entrepreneurial spirit began to take root. He eventually established his own barber's shop, where he not only honed his trade but also began to dabble in the world of invention and mechanics. Lacking formal education, Arkwright was largely self-taught. He had an innate ability to understand and manipulate mechanical systems, a skill that would prove crucial in his later inventions. His early life was marked by an insatiable curiosity and a willingness to explore and innovate, traits that would define his career and contributions to the Industrial Revolution. By the time he approached the age of invention, Arkwright had transformed from the son of a tailor in a small Lancashire town to a budding entrepreneur with a keen interest in the burgeoning field of textile production. It was this interest, coupled with his mechanical genius and entrepreneurial acumen, that set the stage for his revolutionary contributions to the industrial world. Richard Arkwright's early life story is a testament to how humble beginnings, combined with innate talent and relentless drive, can lead to monumental achievements. His journey from a small town in Lancashire to becoming a central figure in the Industrial Revolution underscores the transformative power of innovation and ambition. The Spinning Jenny, invented by James Hargreaves in 1764, marked the beginning of mechanized spinning. However, its threads were too weak for warp, the longitudinal threads in a piece of fabric, limiting its utility. Arkwright, with his keen eye for improvement and advancement, saw an opportunity. He envisioned a machine that not only increased production but also enhanced the strength and consistency of the yarn. Arkwright's lack of a formal engineering background did not hinder him. He collaborated with John Kay, a skilled clockmaker, who helped in the precision crafting of parts for Arkwright's design. 
Through numerous trials and experiments, they developed a machine that used rollers to stretch the cotton, spinning it into a more robust thread. Arkwright's stroke of genius was empowering his spinning frame with water. The use of water power was a significant leap from the manually operated machines of the time. This innovation not only allowed for greater scale and efficiency but also laid the foundations for the factory system, as it necessitated the establishment of mills near water sources. Patented in 1769, the water frame was revolutionary. It could produce strong, consistent yarn suitable for warp, vastly increasing the quality and quantity of textile production. It marked a departure from the domestic system of production, ushering in an era of industrial-scale manufacturing in mills. Arkwright's water frame was more than just an improved spinning machine. It was the harbinger of modern industrial production. It catalyzed the growth of the factory system, reshaping the economic and social landscape. The employment shifted from homes to factories, laying the groundwork for modern labor practices and urbanization. Richard Arkwright's water frame patented in 1769, marked a pivotal moment in the history of the Industrial Revolution. This ingenious invention revolutionized the textile industry, profoundly impacting both the economy and society in ways that echoed far beyond the confines of the mills where it was first put to use. Arkwright, who rose from a humble background to become one of the key figures of the era, created more than just a machine. He sparked a transformation in the very fabric of 18th century life. The water frame represented a significant improvement over previous spinning technologies. It could spin multiple threads simultaneously, producing yarn that was stronger and more uniform. This capability vastly increased the scale and efficiency of textile production, meeting the increasing demand for cotton products. Arkwright's machine was a cornerstone in the shift from manual, home-based production methods to industrial-scale manufacturing in mills. This shift, driven by the power of water, marked the beginning of the factory system, a concept that would define the future of industrial production. However, the implications of Arkwright's invention were not solely positive. The rise of factories catalyzed a wave of urbanization, with workers migrating from rural areas to newly industrialized cities. These burgeoning urban centers, often centered around mills and factories, grew rapidly, but not without challenges. The working conditions in these early factories were typically harsh, with long hours, low wages, and poor working environments. This sparked the early stages of the labor movement and calls for reforms, laying the groundwork for modern labor rights and practices. The societal impact of Arkwright's invention extended beyond the walls of the factories. Traditional craftsmen and artisans, who had for centuries spun yarn and woven cloth in their homes, found themselves outpaced by the efficiency of machines. This led to a loss of artisanal skills and a shift in the labor market, as many were forced to adapt to the new industrial landscape or face unemployment. This displacement was a source of social tension and contributed to the complex dynamics of the Industrial Revolution. Furthermore, the environmental impact of the burgeoning factory system began to manifest. The reliance on water power, and later steam, led to changes in the landscape, with the construction of mills, dams, and canals altering the natural environment. This was the beginning of an era where industrial progress often came at an environmental cost, a theme that would become increasingly significant in the centuries to follow. In conclusion, Richard Arkwright's water frame was a watershed in industrial technology. It greatly improved the efficiency and output of the textile industry, contributing to economic growth and the advancement of the Industrial Revolution. However, it also brought about significant societal and environmental challenges. The water frame's legacy is thus a multifaceted one, encapsulating the dual nature of industrial progress, the capacity to drive economic and technological advancements while simultaneously posing new societal and environmental dilemmas. Richard Arkwright's later years were marked by a transition from an inventive entrepreneur to a successful industrialist, and his inventions, particularly the water frame, significantly impacted this trajectory. Following the success of his water frame, Arkwright became one of the first to harness the factory system for textile production. 
He established several mills, most notably in Cromford, Derbyshire, which became the model for future factories. His use of water power for these mills was innovative and set a precedent for industrial operations. Arkwright's mills were immensely profitable. The efficiency and productivity of his machines allowed him to produce textiles at a previously unattainable scale and pace, leading to substantial wealth accumulation. He became one of the richest men in Britain, a significant feat considering his humble beginnings. His success earned him a great deal of respect and social standing. In 1786, Arkwright's contributions to industry were recognized when he was knighted by King George III, becoming Sir Richard Arkwright. This was a remarkable honor, indicating the high esteem in which he was held. Arkwright was also appointed High Sheriff of Derbyshire, a position that further cemented his status as a leading figure in the industrial community. Arkwright's career was not without controversy. He engaged in numerous legal battles over his patents, with many claiming that his inventions were not entirely original. In 1785, his patent for the water frame was revoked, as it was judged that the invention was based on prior work by Thomas Hayes and John Kay. These legal challenges tarnished his reputation to some extent, casting a shadow over his accomplishments. Despite this, Arkwright remained a highly influential figure in the industrial sector. Arkwright was married twice and had children who later became involved in his businesses. His family continued to play a significant role in the textile industry even after his death. Arkwright passed away on August 3, 1792, leaving behind a legacy as one of the pioneers of the Industrial Revolution. His mills and factory system continued to influence industrial practices for generations. Richard Arkwright's later years were characterized by significant wealth, social prestige, and a lasting impact on industrial production. However, these years were also marked by legal disputes and challenges to his reputation. Despite these controversies, Arkwright's role in shaping the early Industrial Revolution and his contributions to the development of the factory system remain undisputed, cementing his place in history as a key figure of industrial innovation. And so, we come to the end of our exploration of Richard Arkwright and his revolutionary water frame, an invention that not only transformed the textile industry but also had a profound impact on the course of the Industrial Revolution. As we've seen, Arkwright's legacy is a tapestry woven with innovation, economic growth, and social change. If you've enjoyed this journey through history and innovation, please show your support for our channel. Give this video a like and subscribe to stay updated on our continuing exploration of the Industrial Revolution. Your engagement truly makes a difference and helps us bring more fascinating stories to light. Now, we'd love to hear from you. In the comments below, tell us what you think was the most significant impact of Arkwright's water frame. Did it change the course of the Industrial Revolution more through its technological innovation, or through the societal changes it brought about? Your insights and perspectives enrich our discussions, and we're eager to read your thoughts. In our next episode, we'll delve into another groundbreaking invention that marked a major turning point in industrial history, the steam engine by James Watt in 1776. This innovation didn't just advance mechanization, it redefined industrial power and set the stage for a new era of human capability. Join us as we uncover the story of James Watt and his transformative steam engine, an invention that propelled the industrial revolution into a new dimension. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Your support keeps our channel thriving and helps us uncover more stories that shaped our world. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep the spirit of discovery alive.